Donald Trump has killed Qasem Soleimani, the biggest enemy of ISIS, the biggest enemy of Al-Qaeda, someone who has killed more Al-Qaeda and Wahhabi terrorists than anyone else. Qasem Soleimani, the leader of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, is someone that ISIS and Al-Qaeda are terrified of. They tried to kill him many times and failed. But now the United States has done essentially what ISIS and Al-Qaeda could not do and kill the greatest enemy of ISIS and Al-Qaeda. This is cowardly. Donald Trump is not standing up for Americans to protect them from the terrorists who are actually killing us, the terrorists with links to Saudi Arabia. He's not standing up to Al-Qaeda. He's not standing up to Wahhabism and extremism. He's not standing up to ISIS. No, Trump is going to his friends in Saudi Arabia and saying, please, please support me. I'm being impeached. He's going to the neocons in Congress like Lindsey Graham. Please, please support me. I'm being impeached. I don't want to be driven out of office. He's going to the Israel lobby. Likud, Netanyahu, Sheldon Adel saying, please, please, here, I'll, I'll kill, I'll kill, I'll kill the biggest enemy of Al-Qaeda, you know, I, 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 I'll kill, I'll kill somebody who stands up to Saudi Arabia, I'll kill the biggest enemy of the Wahhabi terrorists, you know, I'll give a huge favor to ISIS and Al-Qaeda if you'll please protect me. Trump is cowardly. He is bowing. He is bowing before the neoconservatives in his own party. He is bowing before the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the fountainhead of Wahhabi terrorism. He is bowing before the Israel lobby. Donald Trump is groveling. He is he's groveling before the forces that are actively destroying the lives of Americans, right? We know 